there, friends. Welcome back to Jason Eats, the show that I hate that you love. Get in my belly! Today on Jason Eats, we're going to be doing something that is both great and disgusting, which is pretty much usually the case. See, here's what this show is about. There are people out there that think, this is real good to eat, and they're stupid. But sometimes, it sounds bad, but is actually super delicious. Sneak peek to next week, peanut butter, jelly, and mustard, am I right? We have a friend on our Fantasy Footballers podcast, our Spitballers podcast, and Mike the Fantasy Hitman Wright. He has a couple disgusting traits, and he swears they're great. Now. Today's, you might have guessed, involves SpaghettiOs. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I went out, I bought all these SpaghettiOs for today's video, and I'm, uh, I'm ashamed to say that's not the truth. This was already, <laughs> I already had this. This was me, I owned this all. In fact, this is less than I originally purchased. But this is what we have to work with today. And so Mike says to me, he says, Jay, Jay, you're having SpaghettiOs. Why not put some cottage cheese in it? What? And he makes this whole argument. Well, do you like lasagna? Well, yeah, I like, I look at my body. Of course I like lasagna. He's like, well, lasagna has ricotta cheese and then it's, you know, uh, Italian pasta and maybe it's good. You, but this one, you got cold, you got hot. So we're gonna figure it out. I'm going to take delicious, wonderful, healthy, nutritious SpaghettiOs, which is healthy for kids. So just so you know, parents out there, super healthy. It's 20% of your daily vegetables, which means if I eat the top row, I'm getting my whole daily veggies. Congrats to me. But we're gonna try it with some uh, cottage cheese, see if it's good, see if it's disgusting. Let's get to work. Well, time to get to it with some Daisy, not a sponsor, cottage cheese, and some SpaghettiOs, which I would very much like to be a sponsor soon. We are going to have it. I don't need y'all, get out of here. I'll be eating those later. Anyway, it's time to get to cooking. Now, if you're cooking a fancy meal like this, I don't recommend the microwave. I recommend the pot. You gotta, you gotta do things right when you're doing them the right way, okay? So, we're gonna grab, we're gonna grab a fancy bowl, and we're gonna get a big old, that's not a bowl. <laughs> that's not a bowl. This is called a pot. So you're gonna grab a pot and a spoon, also known as a fork. We do the pouring of the spaghetti into said pot. Mmm, look how yummy. Oh, yes. This part I'm confident I love because I've eaten my fair share. Now you're gonna want a medium to high heat. Don't roast them too far because this is a tender vegetable product. So you gotta be really careful with your spaghetti and your O's. You don't want to burn your little bitty baby boy mouth. And yeah, we can be big boys, but we got a bitty baby mouth. These were large cans, by the way. I was really surprised the each can, it says single serving, but only for a man like me. Mm-hmm, oh yes, mmm, drop the hot spaghetti. Here's where it's supposed to be good. You've got hot and cold. Now that's weird to me, but Mike says that's the way to do it. I asked him how much. Do I go equal parts? Is this 50-50? He says to me, he says, get this. Public service announcement. Turn the burners off when you're done or you're gonna burn your house down. So he says to me, he says, I take two to three large heaping scoops. Now you could stir it in or leave it on top. He leaves it on top. And why, he says? Because he likes to have the hot and the cold. But I'm like, why not just have a side of cottage cheese? Why, why you can do the same thing by having a delicious bowl of spaghetti and a, a very nice bowl of cottage cheese. So today, I'm mixing it in. If we're gonna do this video, I'm doing it right. I'm doing it disgusting and we're going all the way. So here goes nothing. Always make sure when you open cottage cheese that you both check the date and you stir the disgusting dairy skim part that's on top away. Okay, that's always a nasty part. Oh goodness. One scoop, a two, a three. Mm. 
boy, does that not look appetizing. Yuck. Now, now we stir. Oh gosh, the colors are wrong. The texture is wrong. The temperature is wrong. And Mike, right is not so correct. All right, here it goes. Here we go, a big disgusting bite of cottage cheese and SpaghettiOs. Interesting. We have, we have some new thoughts here. Wow, so here's what I just experienced. At first, no cottage cheese. It was just SpaghettiOs, which by the way, still delicious. But then the aftertaste had a bunch of like the kernels. Do you call kernels? Is it kernels? Is it curds? It's, it's, I guess this would be like a cheese base, right? Is this cheese, cottage cheese? Curds. The curds add a very nice texture. Now I'm not sure how much I have in my mustache right now, but it can't be zero. Mm, I can eat this. This is not, this is not cereal water, which was gross. Let's really test this thing out. Let's see what we can do. Well, you know, when something is good, you want to eat it really fast. And you want to make sure that... Now, not too fast. I'm a big boy and I can get behind cottage cheese, spaghetti rolls, and I feel like to you, the viewer at home, you deserve to see me eat this whole bowl if it's something acceptable to eat. So I'm gonna do my best to not waste your time and not waste my time. Why? Eat it. I highly recommend whether you're a big boy or a little boy, whatever, you eat this with a napkin. Cause I'm pretty sure it's a little messy when you go hard in the paint. Excuse me, Groot. Ah. So here's the deal. Thinking about this, was it good? Yeah, it was okay. I could eat this again. This gets served to me in a lunch line, I'm gonna scoop it up. But would I do this myself? Did I just upgrade? Did I upgrade my SpaghettiOs by adding in cottage cheese? Absolutely not. There's no way it's better. So this one is getting one thumb up. It's acceptable. You can get a little bit more protein with your vegetable product, which we have learned today, 20% of your daily vegetables in this bowl. But overall, not disgusting, not something I would do on my own. Mike is still a monster for suggesting this. And I hope that you suggest things. This is what, look, I'm here to be the guinea pig, but I'm not just looking to eat Pop-Tarts with mustard and things nobody eats. What is it at home that you and your family have a disgusting tradition of that you're like, no, people, you gotta believe me, it really is good. Comment below, let me know, and I will try those foods out and tell you the honest truth, because that's what we're here for. We're here for one thing and one thing only, the truth, honesty, customer service, reviews as good as consumer reports, but only on weird food combinations. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe to see next week's video, peanut butter, jelly, and mustard on its way. Mwah. Thanks, and have yourself a wonderful spaghetti treat.